we're joined by Simply You fashion and style editor Louise Hiltz and you are looking, well we are looking, you're looking gorgeous as always. Oh, thank you. We are looking today at something very near and dear to my heart, activewear. Yes, there is no doubt that activewear is the biggest trend globally at the moment. You can't go anywhere without seeing someone in activewear. Yeah, and whether it's appropriate or not. Totally appropriate. See, I am a firm advocate that activewear is appropriate most of the time. Most of the it's time. It's replaced my jeans during the weekend. Definitely. But I do also work out. I'm training for a half marathon. It's good to hear that yeah. you actually work out because most people don't in their activewear. Yeah, exactly. Let's start by talking about pants. Yeah. You so, I mean, that's kind of like the core start to your look. You can go for something really kind of plain with just like a little oh, bit of gorgeous, something sorry. or get wild with it, which as you can see is what I'd probably wear. The main thing with this though is you really want to check that they're not see-through. You need to do a little bend in the changing room, a little downward dog. Definitely. Because it is a real concern when it comes to leggings. And it doesn't matter if you've gone to kind of like a cheap chain store or you've spent a lot of money on a brand. It can still happen and I don't know about you but if you've been to a yoga room and everyone's bending over and people haven't done that it's not a pretty sign. I have been in a pump class before and there's been some people doing some squats and I'll be like oh love honey I really want to say something yeah. to you but it's not my place is it? And it's men and women. Yeah exactly. Don't think it's just yeah, women. It's not just the women. Okay so that's something to look for. Also the high-waisted thing I'm a big fan of those. Definitely I mean you don't want a little muffin top and you want to keep everything together if you are actually working out. It tucks everything in and it's nice so comfortable so very comfortable so you need to go for a quality fabric as well. Definitely. That's obviously important. And then you can get nice little matching tops again if you actually actually are working out which are really nice for your yoga movements and you're pumping up at Lizzie's. And your, and your, what's that one again? Your warrior, yeah, your warrior so pose. Yoga. Yeah. But as soon as you've left the gym, the key thing is to cover up. Okay. We do not want to see all your bits. Okay. So this is where you move into, you know, like a nice kind of long casual sort of look. Okay. And this is where it really takes it from gym to the street. Okay, these ones here are really beautiful too. Yeah, with this little cutout. So you've got that sport luxe feel, but again, you're just a little bit more covered up. It's a little bit more um, safe to be going to places that aren't the gym. This, not appropriate. Okay, so you can be wearing that for your gym, but when you do actually leave and you step onto the street, it's like the undies togs thing. Undies, you need undies to be togs. wearing the slightly longer, oh, they're nice. And you can even dress it up a little bit, you know, a sequin. Oh. You're not going to be working out in that, are you? But that's definitely good for coffee. Yeah, definitely for coffee. Okay, so these are not, I like these little singlets too. Very cute. Go into quite a frenzy when it comes to active wear because I'm a <laughs> big fan. And what you'll find is you walk into stores and there's the actual technical active wear, like a jacket like this that you actually would wear when you're walking. And then there is just your casual active wear that it's just for street cream. Okay, because you want to layer things on too when you Definitely. are actually working out outside. I mean, outside. it's cold. But then, you know, you can even incorporate your knitwear. This is a really nice brand, We Are, that do lots of yoga. And you put that on with your leggings and it's totally transformed the look. That's my watching rugby on the sideline look. That is not <laughs> my going for my half marathon training look, is it? Well, this is on the way to the marathon. It's cold <laughs> before you start running. I love it. You've got some beautiful things yeah, here. Yeah, and this then you can great. go really cool. I mean, Adidas obviously just nail this look. Okay. And they do really bright, fun, bold colours. And this kind of thing, I mean, you could wear that with your jeans and really right. transform, you know, your active wear look. Let's talk quickly about shoes because we are running out of time. Shoes. Because you've got these beautiful shoes in here, none of which are in my size either, by the way. <laughs> That's so oversight. again, you've got your technical type shoe or you've definitely just got street cred, casual. And I think you've really got to work in with what look you're going for. If you're covered in labels, because a lot of these sports brands love a big slogan tee, yeah. you really just want to kind of play it down with the shoes. These are really nice ones. Let's just have a quick little chat about what is appropriate and not appropriate. So I'm going definitely. out to coffee in my active wear. Appropriate. I'm going out to dinner in my active wear. Not appropriate. Okay, I'm going out. Once on... the lights are out, it's time to take it off. Okay. I think people are getting way too relaxed in their active wear. Okay, and a top tip when you're wearing your active wear, I guess if you're out in the street, uh, that your yoga pants aren't really pants, they are tights. Yeah. Have something that covers... Covers your bits. Yeah. <laughs> you want to avoid your undies, undies togs. Uh, absolutely. And that is the tip you're taking away from today. Louise Hill, thank you so much. That has been really enlightening <laughs> and some good things.